Good morning, Instagram family. How's it going, guys? My name is Eamon Aja, and welcome to my official Columbia Admissions Instagram takeover. Let's start. So today is an absolutely beautiful day here in my hometown of Danvers, Massachusetts. It's slightly, it's about 20 minutes north of Boston. I'm currently a mechanical engineering freshman on campus in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, and I'm happy to take you through what a day in the life of an engineering student is, especially quarantine edition. So on campus, I'm part of loads of cool clubs, loads of cool activities, namely FSAE, which is our Formula SAE club. Essentially what we do is we build cars, we race them. I'm also part of the Engineering Recruitment Committee, the ERC. Essentially, I can give tours, meet prospective students, do awesome Instagram takeovers! I'm also part of the MSA, the Muslim Students Association, and I'm also part of EWB, Engineers Without Borders, the Morocco project, where it's more on the sustainable side of things. So stay tuned for more pictures. So I'm back inside because it got a little bit chilly outside, but how could I forget WKCR? WKCR is the original FM news broadcasting channel. When Professor Armstrong, a Columbia University professor, invented FM, he created the Columbia Radio Club in the 1930s. That radio club became WKCR today and is still an ongoing active radio broadcasting platform on campus owned by Columbia where students can go on air, put on their shows, put on their music, get certain slots, and be a programmer for WKCR. There's news, there's arts, there's sports, there's so many different avenues for you to pursue and for you to showcase your arts or for you to showcase your interests to the world. Luckily for me, I'm a programmer for them and I work on the arts. Are you trying to be the best or and sometimes not caring about what you have to do to make it to the top? So I think like that's huge. So Columbia's arts engagement doesn't just stop at WKCR. Columbia has several other programs meant for you to explore your talents, explore your interests in the city and on campus, from Urban New York, which allows you to see Broadway shows and other events around the city, or Columbia's Arts Initiative, or just Columbia's Museum Access and Museum Pass that allows you to hop around 30 museums for free. Here are some pictures from my experience with Urban New York. So one thing that I truly appreciate about Columbia is its religious life. The religious life on campus has representatives from all faiths, all backgrounds, and all walks of life. It really creates this homey and welcoming environment for you to practice your faith, worship, and meet others of similar faiths or different faiths. One awesome thing I'm part of is called something called the Interfaith Salon. Essentially, every week on Tuesdays, individuals from all walks of life meet together and we just talk. We talk about our differences, we talk about our similarities, we talk about similar themes across all religions, and it's just an awesome environment for you to get to know other people, get to know the religious life on campus, and also have intellectually stimulating conversations. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm part of the Muslim Students Association on campus. As the co-religious chair with a close friend of mine named Amran, together we plan events both for our Muslim community on campus and the community at large of Columbia University. We plan various interfaith events, we plan various other religious uh, life events, and other Islam-inspired events on campus. Check out some of the pictures of things we did in 3, 2, 1. So one thing that I realized I haven't quite mentioned just yet is what I like to do in the city. The city has so many awesome things to do from food, entertainment, exploring, adventure, health and fitness. There's so many cool things to do in New York City. Here are some pictures, and there's quite a few, of things that I like to do or have done in the city that were quite legendary. So I've showed you some of my favorite places in New York City, but let me show you my favorite pictures and memories from campus. I know we're all quarantined around the world right now, and we all really miss campus so much, but let's reminisce through some pictures. So for those of you who might not know what the CCE is, the CCE is the Center for Career Education. It's a center on campus that essentially helps you with anything professional related, from resume building to job search to internship search to reaching out to faculty for letters of recommendation. They help you from A to Z. Fun fact, they also have suits that you could borrow if you have an interview and you might not have your own suit.
All right, Instagram family, I just got a university riding inside to come outside, soak up the nice sunshine, hear the birds chirp, get the nice weather. Um, university riding is part of the core curriculum. Uh, fortunately for me as an engineering student, I can get the best of both worlds, uh, both humanities and engineering. So I'm taking these rigorous engineering courses. I can also sort of dial down and take these courses that I'm interested in, whether it be art humanities, music humanities, explore new cultures, explore new languages, learn how to write through university writing, and also meet new individuals that are not engineering students. So in theory, the core, the core curriculum, excuse it's a great opportunity to get the best of both worlds and really diversify your education, diversify your learning, and make sure that you can take humanities alongside engineering courses, which in my opinion is phenomenal. Um, one of my favorite courses that I've heard is going to be great and I hope to take next semester is Art Humanities. I've heard people who've been to museums through class, so it's part of their class assignments, um, and they just get to explore the city all through one class, which is awesome. All right, so next class we're taking is Intro to Electrical Engineering, so stay tuned for some more information about engineering courses as well as information. About All right, Instagram family, as you just saw, I've just completed and I'm done with class for today. I took you writing and intro electrical engineering. It's crazy to think that this is the last week or the penultimate week of classes. Next Monday is our last day of classes and then final season begins. Time definitely does go by incredibly fast. It feels as if just yesterday I was got, I got on campus and was ready to start my fall semester. I want to take the moment to tell you more about mechanical engineering and just engineer, engineering in general. Mechanical engineering is a very, very versatile and very unique field in the sense that you could sort of pursue multiple avenues, whether it be aerospace, automotive, uh, energy, or robotics. Uh, and that's really one of the main reasons why I chose it. Now, currently as a freshman, I'm just taking the preliminary classes, so intro electrical engineering, mechanics, mechanics of solids. Um, the course load doesn't really begin, I guess, in intensively until maybe your sophomore year, spring, your junior year, fall. That's when you start to take more major related courses. So your first two years is just spent taking the, the core requirements uh, and getting all of those initial courses um, completed just so that you're better equipped when you start off your major requirement courses. So the great thing about engineering on campus is there's so many avenues for you to get involved. You can join hands-on activities like FSAE, CSI, Columbia Space Initiative, or EWB. Or you could pursue the more professional route. So you can join NSBE or Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. And you could be involved in engineering programs and other engineering uh, community outreach events through there. Uh, but there's so many avenues for you to get involved. If you wanted to test the waters and see if engineering is for you, you could go ahead and join those. Um, by all means. The other cool thing about the engineering on campus is the engineering school is relatively small. So not only do you get to meet your fellow engineers early on through your physics classes, through your math classes in the first two years, but you also get to meet the individuals within your major and your, within your department as you take the major requirement courses. Uh, so that adds an element of family to the engineering disciplines and the engineering majors on campus and adds this element of interactive collaboration within the engineering school, which is definitely a must have as an engineer. All right, Instagram family, thank you so much for tuning in to a day in the life of a Columbia University School of Engineering freshman mechanical engineering student, quarantine edition. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely had a blast recording this and showing you guys uh, snippets of my life, my experience on campus, and my experience with the engineering school. To everyone tuning in, another thank you to all the essential workers and to all the healthcare workers. If you know someone or if you are an essential worker or a healthcare worker, a deep level of gratitude to you from myself and everyone at Columbia. Words cannot really describe our appreciation for all that you have done for our community and society at large. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys are staying safe and secure during this time and thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions about Columbia University, whether it be applying, admissions, student life, academics, or anything in between, be sure to email ugrad-ask at columbia.edu. All right, folks, that's it for today. Eamon, signing off.